Hey there guys, Codeman here. Back to kill Billy. Um Like we were saying last time, we gotta go to the main lab here. And I don't think this is it. What's this? Nothing? Is that Billy the Fridge? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so Billy is out to kill him. I don't. I. Oh. What the fuck? Ooh. Well, that was cool. Thanks a lot for that, Billy. That was really helpful. So, um, I mean, obviously, I don't really know about Billy. Like, I don't know. I'll grab this, um, there's a battery in here, wasn't there? Where? Hey, there was a battery over here before. Or does it stay in my inventory? Maybe it stays in my inventory? Pretty sure there's a battery in here. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna confront Billy here. Ah! Ah! I don't like him. Well, how the fuck are you supposed to do that? Are you supposed to just run back? What do I do? Take, 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 take one book or half a book or what? I assume I just got a rock. I don't think that's gonna stop him. Can he go through airlocks? I certainly hope not. Okay, maybe that's my way out later. Okay, give me that. What do you got there, buddy? Note to all personnel from consultant MM008, Rudolf Wernicke, the asshole himself. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient, uh, any, yeah, any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. Uh, we have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief w could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Yeah, and also remember that you can be fucking killed. Okay. This looks like fun. The assembler, the feed chambers, the uh, the precursor module, uh, blah, 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 the precursor mo molecules, <laughs> molecules, <laughs> molecules. Vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it. But Billy is in the center of it. Find him, kill him, end this. All right, if you say so, buddy. Um. It sucks because I feel like I gotta get rushed. 
But at the same time, I feel like I want to look around. Because I feel like I'll miss Easter eggs or like uh, little cool things. Turn off the valve for the life support fluid reservoir. God damn it. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Yeah. yeah. Old Billy's not looking too good. Oh. You okay there, buddy? Oh, that's a big jar of blood. Okay, so I gotta turn off. So that's where I came from. So I'm probably gonna go up here to turn off a valve. Grab a battery. No. Alright, not up here. It's gotta be over there. This is it, guys. Like, we're getting... This is climactic. This is so weird. Billy, don't kill me. This is Billy's... Uh, this is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all, break it all, he has to die. Alright. I, I agree. After what I've seen here, I don't think we need this guy alive. He's causing a little bit of trouble. I mean, credit where credit's due. Okay. Like I said, credit where credit's due. He Well, I guess I have to grab that first. That was stupid. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, I'm stuck here. Maybe I can grab it quick. Oh, I already grabbed it. I'll read it after. Oh! Honey, these guys don't use doors. Okay, run, 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 run. We're running from Billy the Wall Rider to squeeze through some barrels. Oh, Billy, don't kill me. Okay, whoever's playing that drum, you can fuck off any moment now. Keep running. Don't glitch on me now. Keep running, buddy. Holy fuck, there's about 400. You're going to be jacked by the time you get to the top of these. Oh! Oh my god! That guy is not cool at all. Oh. I've actually got a couple to go here. Um, okay, we'll read this one first. Please find the attached 
the permission to proceed form for patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of finan uh, financial remuner remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to, the, to her church. Warnicky, having read the Boar's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Okay. Um, so if I go to documents, the modern Prometheus. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Oh, this is a different one. Okay. Yeah. By Mary Shelley. Another excerpt from Frankenstein. Learn from me, if not by my pre precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge and how much happier that modest man than he, than he, who, uh, uh, than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. All right. Rip the cables. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess I have to go back. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. God, Billy. I swear to God, Sophia, I would have helped you. I just wasn't here. I just wasn't here. Whoa, whoa! Hi, Billy! Okay, Billy. Oh, Lord of God. Well, thank you for not letting me die, Billy. That was nice. See, he means well. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. My life. Ah! That thing is scary looking. Come on, come on. I haven't come this far to die. Oh god. Oh my lord. Am I alive? Yeah! This guy's invincible. Oh, he's not feeling too good, though. There's also something I missed here. What does this one say? A Morphogenic Engine Chamber Maintenance Schedule. To avoid patient injury, the Morphogenic Engine Life Pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system number one, the enriched oxygenated perfluorocarbon of the for life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital system two, electric uh, electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sub lab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sub lab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital System 3, in the case of catastrophic loss of Vital Systems 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, continuing localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediately in immediate patient termination. Okay. So let's go up here. So it's essentially... Oh. Dude. Come on, man. You can make it. Oh, I did not come this far to die. Oh, 
God, there's... There's some serious shit going on. Is it that scientist guy? Is he gonna save me? Oh God, I'm limping. Oh man, it's getting so crazy. Come on. Oh, you can make it, oh. Oh God, what is that? What is going on here? Don't pass that on me, dude. Come on. Guys, is he gonna make it? Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Damn. Am I the wall rider now? Punished. Nice, that's the ending. The red barrels. Not too bad at all. Wow, was that a crazy game. I'm gonna hit escape here. See if there's anything else. No, doesn't look like it. Oh, you can pick chapters now. Oh, nice. Sweet. Well, kick fucking ass, guys. That was a... That was really good. That was a scary game. Like, that was a fucking scary game. And you guys can bet your asses that I'm going to be playing Outlast 2 when it comes out. Because this game, it actually kind of blew my mind. It was actually really well done. Um, I was a little disappointed in the cliche ending, in a way. It's kind of cliche that the, the hero does all the shit and then, like, gets terminated by a fucking SWAT team. And it's like, you know, whatever. That happens, though. It's fine. But what was interesting was that uh, your character became the wall rider after. As far as we know. He's the new host. Um, don't know how that works. I don't know. Uh, from what I've seen about Outlast 2, it has nothing to do with the first one. So, I don't know. Maybe it does, in a way. And they're going to make a reference to uh, uh, the, the, the Wall Rider or any of these ethereal beings. But wow, what a ride. What a great game. Uh, definitely the scariest game I've ever played, for sure. Uh, I loved it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next game that I play. Um, Outlast, I think. Outlast 2 is going to be 2017, something like that, I think probably but yeah happy halloween um if this is up after halloween still happy halloween fuck it <laughs> and i hope you guys enjoyed the series and i will see you in the next video peace out tunes what am i running from How did you even get down here? How did you? How did you even get down here? Oh.